So no discussion of correlation is complete without talking about the distinctions between correlation and causation. So correlation is used to understand the relationship between variables, but this does not imply a causal relationship. So it doesn't mean a change in one is causing a change in the other. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we're interested in knowing the number of ice cream cones that we sell and the number of sunburns on a given day. And so we monitor this over a 30 day period and we find there's some relationship that exists between these two things. So as the number of sunburns go up, the number of ice cream cones that we sell tends to go up as well. Now we know obviously though that the sale of ice cream does not cause sunburns, even though there's some correlation there. So what we do know though, is that the sun causes sunburns. That's the root cause of those things. And sun can cause a sale in ice cream cones. So we wanna look and make sure we understand the true root causes and understand that even if a correlation exists, it doesn't mean that one is causing a change in the other. Now experiments help us identify true causal relationships. So an example experiment might be determining what causes higher crop yield. What are the inputs that affect that? Or determining what causes customer conversion. As we think about experiments, it could be similar to musicians adjusting settings on a mixing board. They have all of these inputs that they can adjust to try to get the ideal sound to figure out what causes that ideal sound. Now experiments consider things like randomization, replication, holding other factors constant, monitoring noise. It's different than what we would use to just track or identify correlation. Now an important cause, caution here too is that most projects don't require a formal experiment. It can be a time-consuming expensive task, but it is another tool in our arsenal though. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe. And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.